Hi guys and welcome to my YouTube channel Pretty in Paper by B where we are all about sharing the joy of pretty papers and once again we are in my living room <laughs> because the craft cabin is still undergoing its renovation but today I have a super simple Christmas card tutorial for you and I'm going to show you how to make an iris folding Christmas card just like this one. Now everything you need to make this card is in my Christmas tree card kit and I've put a link to this in the box below. So grab your kit, get comfy and let's get crafting. As you can see I've got all my supplies out ready for today's session and today I am using my Christmas tree card making kit. So I've got out some papers and an aperture ready to make a Christmas card. Now this kit also makes two Christmas tree cards this shape with the triangle and the base and two in this Christmas tree shape that I have on the table. So I'm going to make one of these today and I'm going to grab the Christmas tree iris folding pattern, this is tree one, and use a couple of pieces of blue tack to stick the aperture and the pattern to the table. So I'm going to put the blue tack on the reverse side of the pattern just so it'll make it nice and secure and it'll stop it moving throughout the iris folding process, making sure all our paper strips end up in the right place. And then again, same with the blue tack, but I'm gonna put it on the front side of the aperture with the Christmas tree on the left hand side because we will be iris folding from the reverse side. And face down over the top of the pattern so you can see all the numbers and lines through the middle. Perfect. Okay, so in the kit you have your tree pattern guide. So this has got tree one and tree two. So tree one, as you can see, we need three different patterned papers. So I've chosen a couple of greens and a patterned tree paper. Now from each of these papers, I'm gonna cut a couple of strips, about two centimeters wide each. Okay, now I've got my paper strips ready. I'm gonna grab a strip of paper A and fold over an edge of about five millimeters wide. Doesn't need to be too wide, just wide enough to have a nice crease in your paper. Perfect. Okay, now I'm gonna cut a section large enough to cover number one on the iris holding tree. This is only really small in the bottom left hand corner, so it doesn't need to be big. And then with the folded edge facing towards the center of the tree, I'm gonna secure my strip in place with a couple of pieces of sticky tape. Now I'm going to repeat this process, alternating between my paper strips around the tree following my pattern guide. finished placing all of my pretty paper strips I need to cover the hole in the center of the tree also known as the iris so I'm going to use some silver glitter card that's included in the card kit as well and I cut a section just large enough to cover the hole place face down and secure in place with a couple of pieces of sticky tape perfect now we can turn over and reveal our iris folding Christmas tree what do you think guys? The spiral effect looks quite cute on this, doesn't it? Okay, now let's think about covering the back of the iris folding. So in your card kit, you have some sheets of A5 paper. And I've cut this down slightly just so it's a little bit smaller than the card base that we're working on today. And I'm just folding in half because we're gonna use this to make an insert for our card. So before we put the insert in, you're going to need to fold your greetings card in half too. Now I use, like to use a scorer just to press this fold nicely. If you've got a scoreboard handy, this also makes a much cleaner fold in the card too. Okay, so now I've got my card folded in half and my insert ready. It's time to put the insert in the card. So I always suggest using double-sided sticky tape for this but you can use glue if you prefer. With the double-sided tape, 
put a line of tape around one half of the insert. Once you've got all your double sided tape in place, peel the backs off the tape. I like to use a pair of tweezers for this because acrylic nails are not the best for peeling double sided tape. <laughs> so I'm going to peel the tape off all my strips and then we're going to stick this over the top of the iris folding, lining up the fold of the insert with the fold in the card base. Just get this nice and straight. There we go, making sure the insert's in place. Okay, perfect. Now our card base is pretty much ready. I'm just going to press this fold a little bit more. There we go. Okay, let's add some finishing touches to our Christmas tree. So this sheet of peel-off stickers is also included in the Christmas tree card kit. And it's a nice way to add a sentiment to your Christmas cards but also with a little bit of shine. So I'm just going to add oh, season's greetings to the front of this card. Again, tweezers do make this a bit easier because nails are not the best for picking up a <laughs> little sticker text. So I'm going to apply the second word. And then you'll also notice there are quite a few other stickers on this sheet that aren't words and there are lots of different stars that you can use to add to the top of your tree so I, I quite like this one it looks a little bit like a firework but it's quite a cute way to finish the tree I think add that to the top okay so there we go I think we're pretty much done here so there you have it an iris folding Christmas tree greetings card so I hope you've enjoyed the tutorial today guys and don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time.